hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video we will learn how to create a testimonial slider with html css and javascript before starting the video i would like to tell you that i will be creating a playlist for testimonial slider in which i will be creating multiple types of testimonial slider by using different languages like css JavaScript, React.js, Node.js or by app development with React Native or Flutter. Alright, so do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Alright, so here is our first testimonial slider that we will be creating with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So as you can see over here, here is the example that we are going to be creating. Here is our beautiful testimonial slider that we have created with JavaScript and it is responsive. As you can see over here, this is how it is going to be looking in mobile devices. And this is how it's going to be looking in tablet or PC devices. And the most important features that are included in it is you can even drag to next slide or the previous slide as you can see over here at the top of the slider. And even you can use the previous and the next arrow to go to the next code slider or to the previous testimonial slider. Alright, so this is what we are actually going to be creating. So without wasting the time, let's start writing the code. Alright, so as you can see over here, we are having three files created. One is HTML, one is CSS and the another one is the JavaScript file. I will explain you what I have written in the HTML file and all the code structures will be explained to you in detail. So don't worry about it and the source code for the project will be in the description below. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see over here in the HTML file, I have the basic HTML code with some of the link. One is link is for the bootstrap min.css file, one is for font awesome min.css file and the another one that we're going to be using for making our carousel slider and that is the owl carousel. And the script file that we're linking over here, one is for the jQuery and the another one is for the owl carousel script file. That's it. And then we have linked our external script.js file and our external CSS file. Now, in the CSS file, I have already styled my code slider as you can see over here. But you can see that we are not going to be explaining the styling for this project as most of, all, most of you all know how to style a project, right? So the source code will be provided in the description below. You can go through that. Otherwise, you can see over here and you can write it by your own self. It totally depends on you. And here is our script.js file. So now I'm going to be closing my CSS file as we are not going to be working with it. We are only going to be working with the HTML and the backend that is JavaScript. Of course, guys, CSS is basics for styling this type of code slider. It's really simple. So we are not going to be wasting our time for styling our code slider. We just need how can we actually write the functionality? How can we make code slider work? Okay. So let me refresh my project over here. And as you can see, currently we are not having anything in our HTML file, right? So now let's start working. So what I will be doing over here at the bottom of our body, let me just zoom out the code and let me close my sidebar for clearance. And I think that this much is better. I will provide a comment over here that is going to be main section starts and main section ends. So it, you, it will be really easy for you all guys to understand on which point we are actually working on. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a div with a class of container. Inside this div, we're going to create another div which is going to be having a class of row. In this, we're going to create a div which is going to be having a class of bootstrap as we have linked. We're going to be making this project with the help of the bootstrap stylings. So bootstrap styling column medium offset two column medium eight. Okay. In this, I'll be having another div which is going to be having an ID of testimonial hyphen slider that will help us to just actually get the access 
of the testimonial slider with the help of the ID in JavaScript. And we will even provide it a class to style it out and that is going to be the owl carousel. And in this we are going to be having another div which is going to be having a class of testimonial which is going to include our image, title, description and other information related to the user. So first inside this testimonial div we are going to create another div which is going to be having a class of pic which is going to include the picture of the user in which you're going to be using the image tag and the source and the alt tag okay so let's keep it simple for now and after this pick div we are going to create another div which is going to be having a class of testimonial content in this we are going to be having the paragraph and the dummy data so we are going to go with lorem and let's go with like 20 for now that looks good and after the paragraph after the closation of the testimonial content div we are going to create a h3 tag in which we are going to be having a class of testimonial title which is going to be including the user name and the user job title so in this testimonial title we are going to be having an anchor tag so we are going to be providing the user name in between this anchor tag let's go with kelly for now and what is going to happen is that when the user clicks on the name we will be redirecting the user to the user's profile so for now we're going to keep it empty it depends on you after this we're going to define the user's job so the job for the user is going to be web developer for now let's save it and let me refresh my testimonial slider and as you can see we can't see anything over here because of our css linked okay no problem that's fine so now we have created a div of testimonial in which we are having the user image, we have the user content and we have the user title, right? So let me just collapse this testimonial div. Now what we are actually going to do is we are going to create two more div with the name of testimonial which is going to be including the same content but with a different user. So for saving our time, I have already copied the code, I am going to be pasting it over here. Alright guys, as you can see over here, now I have pasted the another two testimonials over here. As you can see, this was our first testimonial. I have even included the user's image URL over here. This is our second testimonial with the same image, content and the title of the user. And this is going to be our third testimonial in our slider. If you need more of them, you can just copy and paste this div testimonial and change the content of it inside the tags. So that's it for the HTML. Now we are actually going to be working with the JavaScript code. Let's come to our script.js where all the magic is going to happen. We're going to see our testimonial slider and we will be seeing even the functionality in it. So now why our content isn't being displayed because we have just displayed it none in our CSS file to not be displayed. Okay. So once we just write our JavaScript code, once our owl carousel is working fine, we will be able to see all of our content. So in our JavaScript, we are going to be using the jQuery dollar symbol over here. We're going to select our document and we are going to be having a ready function created over here. Beautiful. In this, we are going to be selecting our ID of our testimonial div in which we do have all of our content included. I will show you over here in our HTML, you can see our main div and over here, you can see the main div is having an ID of testimonial slider. That's all what we need. So we'll be copying it and we'll be coming to our script.js file and we'll paste it right over here. And then we will be using our owl carousel library to make this slider work that we have actually linked in our HTML file. And over here we are having some of its properties. The link will be provided in the description below for the owl carousel package in which you are going to be having multiple options to be enabled and to be disabled to make your owl carousel, I mean to say to make your testimonial slider, whether it's testimonial slider, whether it's normal slider anything to make it look different from others so first we're going to be having the items that will be setting to one the second thing we are going to be selecting the property for the items desktop 
and that that we're going to be using a square brace brackets thousands comma one i really don't know what is this but you can get all of the description and the information about it from the documentation will be provided in the description below from the official website for the old carousel second we are going to be selecting the item desktop small what is this of course for adding the functionality for the touch when the user is in mobile devices 979 comma 1 then we'll be adding the items for the tablet how we are going to make it work and how we are actually going to be displaying it and the square braces the pixel will be defined the maximum width 768 and 1 I will explain you at the end and will set the pagination to false. If you want, you can set it to true. You can go through the whole the information as I said you earlier in our carousel official documentation and I will set the navigation to true. And then the navigation text will be just a comma as we're going to set it to empty. Like this great and after that we'll select the slide speed okay the speed of the slide i mean to say the auto slide will set it to one milliseconds i need my slide to be changed and of course the auto play will be set to true okay so what is happening over here i will explain you in detail i have selected my testimonial slider the main div in which i have included all of my content as you can see over here this is my main div i have selected over here and use the old carousel package in which we are having some properties to make your slider work we have items and over here we do have desktop desktop small tablet so this is going to be our desktop screen this is going to be our laptop screen and this is going to be our tablet screen to make it look responsive in that we have just provided a pixel the maximum pixel over here and we do have a pagination that is being set back to false and uh, by default and the navigation we are setting it to true and the navigation text we are just keeping it empty and the slide speed the auto play slide speed when the slide changes automatically it needs to be changed in one milliseconds if you want you can just change it in two milliseconds three milliseconds it totally depends on you of course to make the slide speed work we'll set the auto play to true auto play means of course the slide will be auto played if you want you can use the down buttons next or previous button or you can even drag the slides Okay, so let's refresh our web page. Boom! As you can see over here, we are having our beautiful testimonial slider being displayed over here with the autoplay functionality. The slide is being changed after 1 milliseconds. We can even slide and change our slide as you can see over here. We can even change our slide by clicking on this next and by clicking on this beautiful previous arrow that is really simple and as you can see we have created our testimonial slider with css and javascript in just a minutes okay so the source code will be provided in the description below you are free to use it and make changes if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell for more amazing content on testimonial slider and many more all right guys that's it and I will see you in the next amazing video. Till then, peace.